All right, so we have uh, most of the components rebuilt, ready to go back into the box. But before I do that, I want to walk you guys through uh, some of the things I've done. So let's start with the, um, here we have the uh, meter board. Uh, this is where I replaced most of the electric, I mean, I replaced all the electrolytic capacitors and um, all the T192 transistors. These are the, uh, these are mostly the 2SC458 uh, LG type, which are making the meter go crazy. Uh, those have been replaced, so we should no longer have that problem. Um, obviously the board has uh, been cleaned up and it is ready to go back in. Uh, driver boards. All right, here's where I replaced the three drivers. Drivers. Uh, some of the ancillary work, the uh, transistors that uh, do the, some of the ancillary work for protection, they also have been replaced. Um, polyester film and, car and um, ceramic capacitors have been replaced with, with either silver mica or uh, polypropylene. I have multi turn uh, trimmers, trim pots. Um, and on the signal path, I have all the resistors have been replaced with, with um, Dachmann carbon film, uh, low inductance type. Uh, these boards obviously have also been uh, cleaned thoroughly and they are also ready to go back in. Uh, same with sister, same thing here. All right, um, let's look at this main cap board. This avenue capacitor is in, I replaced. Uh, some of the wires with better gauge, something better suited for, for this application than the WIMPY original wires. If you could see in there, I have two polypropylene caps. They replaced a couple of film caps. This board is also clean, ready to go in. Okay, now let's talk about the power supply board. This On this board, I replaced pretty much everything there is, except those two inductors there. Everything else is new. I have, obviously, this has also been all cleaned up. The... Um, I moved um, the trim pots on the back side for easy access. Okay, let's talk about the rest of the components here. So, obviously, I have new relays. Um, all of the electrolytic capacitors have been replaced with a uh, higher temperature rating. The original ones are 85 degree, right at 85 degrees Celsius. These are right at 105 degrees Celsius. They're all excellent Panasonic caps. Um, I love them. I think they're much better than the originals for this application. All the uh, resistors, all the small uh, core watt resistors were replaced with half watt. Uh, those are carbon film, these are metal film. 1% uh, 50 ppm resistors, so they should have much better resistance to thermal runaway. Um, be let, less, uh, less susceptible to thermal runaway than the originals. I beefed up the driver for, for the relays, uh, make sure those things get uh, closed and stay closed. Um, all the power resistors have been uh, lifted off the board, obviously, unlike the originals. Uh, I lifted this off the board, I don't, I don't know if you could see, but um, they're lifted off the board, so they're no longer scorched the board. The um, small uh, capacitors, um, uh, ceramic ones have been replaced with silver mica as well. Um, the um, metal, the uh, um, polyester film were replaced with polypropylene. Uh, the uh, rectifiers have been replaced with soft recovery type, and um, the heat sinks have been replaced. I usually keep the original heat sinks if they're not corroded. In this case, they were corroded. The glue is horrible that Yamaha used. Yamaha built a nice amplifier, really a perfect amplifier, but it sure has a few uh, a few pitfalls and power supply, it's not the greatest. And the glue was, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible idea. That glue, the way I removed that glue, so besides it being corrosive, it's also uh, very bad under heat. So it just like decomposes fast. The way I remove it, I use a heat gun and a scraper, a plastic, hard plastic scraper, and it comes right off the board. Like you could see there's no glue left anywhere. It's like perfect board. Um, so that glue comes out with heat. So it, it doesn't hold that, uh, doesn't, it's not very heat uh, tolerant. 
but it's supposed to attach mechanically attach a heatsink to the PSU uh, to the to the to the to the board. So I mean that's just not a not a not a great uh, not a great uh, design. Um, unfortunately, there's not much room to to mechanically attach this from the back. So what I use is a uh, I use a two-part epoxy that is uh, resistant to up to 400 degrees. And so uh, this this is way better than the original. You could see this thing is so strong right now. You could basically um, hold the entire board and shake it. This will not come apart anymore. For me, if I had to take this apart, this heat sink apart from the board, I'd probably damage the board because you need a chisel or a hammer to get it off. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with the way this came up. And um, if I were to design this board, I'd probably use a different method. But this is as good as it gets. And it's, it's just very sturdy. This is way better than the original. Um, and I don't think this will ever come apart. So, um, that I think is, um, all I wanted to talk about, uh, uh related to this PSU board. Uh, obviously the selector board is going to be replaced. I talked about it earlier. It's going to be replaced with, um, the new selector board that I designed. Signal will no longer travel through open air switches. They will be the thing, all single uh, switching is going to be handled by this seal relays. Uh, we have many choices for uh, now. We have many choices for the coupling caps. I use uh, I use the Mondorf M cap on this for this application. Uh, the pots are no longer pots; they are actually um, step attenuators. Uh, and so this is this should resolve. Should take care of Achilles heel uh, of uh, the uh, Yamaha V2. Um, no longer have to wait for or hope that the the, the thing will switch or um, hear scratching in those spots. But that's that's all I want to talk about in terms of electronic components. Let's talk about um, let's talk about the chassis. So the the main chassis was um, damaged by the leakage, uh, the um, the um, the electric fluid from the elect electrolyte capacitor that leaked and damaged the zinc and so I had the zinc stripped the original zinc stripped to it um, all the metal imperfections so now I have this entire uh, this entire chassis uh, replated with uh, zinc so it's like brand new basically it's uh, I'm really really pleased the way this came out um, same kind of same thing happened here with the with the Top cover, if you remember, this was, I don't know if you can see it well, but this was, uh, this corner was damaged and, um, and the back corner was damaged as well. And this, this cover came out pretty good as well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased the way it came out. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to, to put this thing back together. And so, um, I will start doing that and I'll come back when I have more progress. See you soon.